Hey, I'm Eric Spellman with Computer Tips 101, and today we're going to be talking about how to block websites with parental controls for your iPhone, your Android, and your computer. But first, we have to talk about a few things. One of the easiest ways to stop this kind of problem if you think your kids might be accidentally or on purpose going to something inappropriate, or maybe even a spouse or something like that, one of the first things you can do is simply put the PC in a public place. Uh, where anyone can see. Put the screen against the wall facing out uh, to where anyone walking by can see exactly what's going on. Believe it or not, that stops a lot of problems right there. I'm not a big fan of letting kids have a uh, computer in their bedroom. And if they do, the door stays open, I can see what they're doing. Always give kids especially an accident option. In other words, uh, let's say it's happened to all of us. Uh, we're typing along, we click on something, or we type a wrong address, and we accidentally, legitimately, accidentally go to an inappropriate site. Uh, this gives them an out, and you just need to tell them, say, hey, we know accidents happen. So if, little Johnny, you accidentally go to an inappropriate site, uh, as long as you come tell us directly, guess what? You're not in trouble. Uh, give them an out because a lot of times what happens is if a kid accidentally does go to a site like that, they freak out. They think they've done something wrong and they try to close it and hide it and the guilt and, and they're all nervous. They don't need that. So give them an out. Uh, let them know that accidents happen and as long as they come get you immediately uh, that they're not in trouble. Always explain why you're doing this. Explain why you are installing uh, filtering software or blocking certain things. Kids don't understand. Uh, they don't understand why, what inappropriate things are. So based on your religious values or your moral values, um, explain what you're doing and why so the kids understand that they're not just being punished somehow. What are the different types of protection that are out there? Well, first there's site blocking. A lot of these uh, pieces of software, uh, they can block sites, entire sites, and they have lists that are updated all the time. Uh, so that if you accidentally or even try to go to a certain site, it will block it. It will prevent it and saying, nope, you can't go there. Next is content filtering. Because you can't always block every site. I mean, there's new sites coming up all the time. So content filtering means that this software can actually look at the text on the page, and if it sees curse words or other certain words uh, that might be inappropriate, uh, it can block access to those. It can also limit the time they're on the internet. In other words, uh, at 10 o'clock, no more internet until 7 a.m. the next morning. So you can set restrictions so that they're having a sleepover. Them and their friends at 2 a.m. in the morning uh, while you're asleep can't go and access something. My favorite, though, and this is relatively new, uh, is accountability reporting. Now, what this means is that whether you have filtering or no filtering, what this does is every site that someone goes to, is automatically put in a list and emailed to someone else, uh, like a parent. And that way you can kind of at least look and see what they're doing. So whether you filter or not, whether you block or not, this is a great option that I highly recommend because it lets you know what they're doing. So how do we do this? Well, first, if you have a PC or a Mac, um, one of the easiest ways is to use caninewebprotection.com. It's a wonderful free piece of software. I've used it before and it works great. Uh, another one, and believe it or not, this is actually my favorite, CovenantEyes.com. CovenantEyes.com is not free, but it does have the most ability to work on every device. In other words, you have one account and it works on your iPad, iPhone, Android, PC, multiple PCs, um, and it just it just works. And I use it all the time and it has great accountability features too. SafeEyes.com is another good one. They were bought by McAfee. Uh, the way they charge is an upfront, not a monthly like Covenant Eyes. Uh, but they charge an upfront like 50 bucks or something. Now, SafeEyes is nice, uh, and heck, Dave Ramsey even pushes it. Uh, but uh, I have had some friends say they have some issues with it, so I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know if it's a McAfee issue or what. Anyway, my opinion, my favorite is CovenantEyes.com. But what if you have an Android phone or a tablet? How do we protect that? Well, it's very easy. First, you usually, when installing one of these filters, uh, a lot of times you have to go into your settings on an Android and tell it to allow non-market apps. Uh, but read the directions depending on which one you choose. Covenant Eyes does support Android. Uh, I think the other two may not. I'll have to check. 
but Covenant Eyes definitely does support Android and it works really well. Then all you do is install the app and you're good to go. And all the features just like on a PC. iPhones and iPads are different, however. Uh, it's a little trickier because Apple has certain rules. Apple will not let another app block or affect another app. And we all know that the browser on an iPhone or iPad is Safari. And so you can't install web filtering software that will affect Safari. So you have to go at it a little differently. And here's how. First, you install the filtering app browser. In other words, a brand new browser. And remember what an internet browser is? It allows you to look at uh, web pages. And so you install a new one. So in the case of Covenant Eyes, you install the Covenant Eyes browser. Then on that iPhone or iPad, you go to Settings, General, Restrictions, and you set a pin. Because what you're about to do is turn certain things on and off on the iPhone or iPad. And the PIN number, a little four-digit, like your ATM PIN number, a little four-digit thing, only you should know. So if you're doing it for your kids, you don't tell them what this number is because that number will prevent them from turning it off. Uh, it's kind of like a lock, like a special password. Then, once you're in, you turn off Safari. In other words, no more Safari because that way you're going to force them to use uh, the browser that you're installing, uh, like Covenant Eye. Then you turn off the, their ability to add or remove apps. Now this is important because there's a lot of browsers out there that they could download and install and then look at whatever sites they want without you even knowing. So number one, uh, you install the browser for the filtering software. Number two, you go into the restrictions and turn off Safari and turn off their ability to add and remove apps. And then finally, uh, you give it back to them. And then if they want to go on a web page, the only option they have uh, is to use, uh, say, in this case, Covenant Eyes uh, browser, and it works great. So there are a few things to remember, though. Number one, you must be the one to install it. You can't give your kids this and say, install some filtering software on there so you can't get the stuff. No, 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 no. You have to do this, and this is easy. It's not very high tech. You can do it. Just follow those simple instructions I gave you. You must monitor it. So if you're installing one of them like Covenant Eyes and it's sending you reports, look at them. See where your kids are going. Make sure they're not trying to get into things they shouldn't. You must enforce. Your kids have got to know what the consequence is. Uh, if you see them trying to go somewhere or they do go somewhere, there's got, they've got to know what the consequences are. Well, as always, uh, if you have any questions, go to my Facebook fan page for Computer Tips 101. Or if you... If this was forwarded to you or you saw it on Facebook and you want to receive these tips via email every single week, then go to my website, computertips101.com. There you can also find all the other videos that I've made uh, that are ground zero and made to help you with your PC. Also, don't forget my sister uh, video uh, site where I talk about online marketing over at ericspellman.com. Uh, where I talk about everything from search engine optimization to how to use Facebook for business. So it's more of a business slant. That's at ericspellman.com. I'm Eric Spellman with Computer Tips 101. I'll see you in cyberspace.